Hi guys, I'm Steph. Thank you so much for checking out my channel today. I'm really excited to be bringing you another first impression foundation. Today I will be testing out the It Cosmetics CC Plus Illumination. If you're interested in just the regular CC cream, I did test this out last week, so I'll link that video down below if you want to hear my thoughts on it. To tell you a little bit about this foundation, you may realize like it is a jumbo size. I'm not sure if they sell this um, in their regular retail spaces like Ulta or online. This is from the home shopping channel. My mom is like obsessed with the shopping channel and she picked this up and she picks up quite a few products from A Cosmetics. She ended up having an extra one so I kind of took it when I was home because I wanted to test it out and that is why it is such a jumbo size. And she's actually the first person I really heard talk about It Cosmetics because it was on the shopping channel and she bought all this stuff and she was buying it before I was like even really into makeup. And uh, since then I've really heard the brand talk a lot more here on YouTube, especially the CC creams. So when I saw she had extra one, I was very eager to try it out. It does come in 12 shades. And just to tell you a little bit more about the product, I'm just going to read from their website. So on the website they say that the multitasking CC Plus cream comes with SPF 50 and it is now infused with proprietary drops of light technology for a cell touch of radiance. They, they go on to say that, again, like the regular one, it has 50 plus UVA, UVB, broad spectrum physical sunscreen, clinically shown to give you 179% of skin hydration, improve skin texture, enhance skin brightness without glitter or shimmer, and it never creases or cracks, instantly camouflages imperfections, including dark spots. Again, it is formulated with advanced anti-aging serum made of hydrolyzed collagen, peptides, niacin, hyaluronic acid, and vitamins A, B, C, and E that work in harmony to diffuse the look of wrinkles, minimize pores, and give you a more luminous and supple and flawless looking complexion. So really the only difference between the two is this one is supposed to give you a bit more radiance, but without shimmer or glitter. So it's going to be really interesting to see how that looks on the skin. I normally do have oily skin that is pretty acne prone. Lately I would say it is more normal, but last week when I tested out the regular one, I did found that I ended up getting quite oily. So we shall see how the radiant one works on me. I feel like it is more suited to dry skin, but we're going into winter and I think everyone likes to have a little bit more glow maybe, not look so matte. So maybe we'll see if it is geared towards my skin type or not. I can't remember if I already said this, but I have the shade light. I'm sure you can tell it is too dark for me, but it is just the shade that I have. I'm going to do half my face with a makeup sponge and half my face with a brush. And just to let you know, I don't prime my skin because I want to see how the foundation wears on its own, but I did go in with my regular skincare routine and moisturize it so my skin is definitely feeling very hydrated at the moment. So now I'm going to zoom you in for the application. It's just pumping a bit onto the back of my hand. I ended up having to use quite a few pumps of the regular one last time, so I feel like that is going to be similar this time. And I am going to be using the Real Techniques, just the orange, I think it's the Miracle Sponge, for this side. And I like to just go in where I have a bit of discoloration from acne and such, just to see what the coverage looks like. I was pretty impressed with the coverage last time, so I'm expecting that same wear time, same wearability, lack of creasing, uh, poor minimizing, all that stuff that it claims to have that I saw in when I used the regular CC cream. So far, right now, I would say it is medium coverage. I can definitely still see stuff coming through here and coming through here. I'm going to let it dry down a bit and then we're going to go in again to see if it is buildable. On the brush side, I am using this. It's kind of just a very dense domed type kabuki brush that uh, the brand's up, up and away, which is like the Target brand. So again, just going into the areas where I have some discoloration first, just to get an idea of the coverage. And from the looks of it, it looks like coverage right away is a lot more intense with the brush than with the sponge. So just after initial application, I do feel like the coverage is a lot less on the side with the sponge. You can still see a lot of stuff coming through. And I feel like sponges do tend to give less coverage just because they're damp, the foundation gets absorbed, the dampness of it kind of shears it out. I feel like I got a lot more coverage on this side. And then it's kind of interesting in terms of luminosity. I feel like this side with the brush, I just feel so much more reflectiveness. It looks so much more luminous versus this side. It looks, I, I, I'm not going to say matte by any means, but I would say it just looks not as luminous, more skin-like satin type finish. 
So you still have that bit of shine, but not quite like this side, which I really thought would be the opposite. I thought the sponge would give it more of a luminosity. So I am going to go over this side again just to see if we can build it up. So going in again. I just want to go over where we need it because I don't want my face to look too cakey with too much makeup. And I would say that does it. I feel like I got rid of any little bit that was seeping through. So it is nice to know that it is buildable. You can get that coverage you like, whether it be with a sponge or a brush. So upon initial application, I definitely feel like you can build it up to whatever coverage you want. If you want more of a sheer coverage, you don't really have a lot of spots or anything that discoloration that needs to be covered, then going in with a damp sponge is really great. It's going to give you a nice medium coverage. If you want that intense coverage right off the bat, I say go in with the brush. It looks really nice with the brush side. And if you like a sponge, that's your preferred method, you can build it up, which is really great. So overall, I feel like you can get the coverage you desire, which is amazing. I'm now going to do the rest of my makeup. I'm going to use some cream products, the powder products. I'm just going to see how everything applies on top and I'll check back in with you. So as you can see, I have done my makeup. I used cream products and powder products like I mentioned. I just want to let you guys know that I didn't use a powder to set my face, just my under eye for my concealer, and I didn't spray anything down with a setting spray. Those are steps I usually do, but I just want to see how the foundation wears on its own. So I don't want to use any products that I think are going to impact or change my thoughts on the foundation itself. So first I went in with a cream product. I went in with the Benefit What's Up Highlighter and this I just draw on my face and I found that it kind of, when I first put on like slid, first of all, so definitely like kind of like luminous. My skin felt like a little oily. And then on top of that, it was just like putting a cream on top of a heavy cream. Like it just, it didn't look nice. I was able to blend it out and it was fine, but that was kind of a little odd. And then for my bronzer, I went in with a ColourPop Super Shock Cheek. And so for this, I just like dab my finger in and kind of put place the bronzer where I want and then buff it out. And I didn't have any problems with that. And then on top of that, with my cream blush, I then went in with like powder, bronzer, blush, highlighter, didn't have any issues with that per se. But with the cream blush, I put it on a flat top brush and then I just kind of brush it onto my face. And on this side, I think everything blended out really nicely. This is the side I used the brush with. On this side where I used the sponge, I'm not sure if you can tell, but I feel like it was kind of patchy, didn't really blend right here. There's like color here and color maybe a little bit back here, but I just found there's like an area right here where I just like, I don't know, could not get the blush to adhere. And on top of that differences with the brush side versus the sponge side, I feel like my pores look so much bigger on the sponge side, my pore size isn't really something I notice on a daily basis. So if something makes me notice my pores, then that's kind of problematic. And this side, I didn't really notice anything at all. As well as my smile lines, usually makeup settles there like right away. So far, nothing here on the brush side. But on the sponge side, there is already a little bit of settling, which kind of has me concerned, but hopefully it's not too much more. And then I have like a giant wrinkle on my forehead and I feel like both sides are kind of settling in there a little bit which is frustrating because last week when I did the regular It Cosmetics CC I didn't have any issues with it. And then on top of that I feel like I've, I already feel like this is not the product for me because my chin already looks so shiny and okay, I feel like my face is more so to do with the highlighter but like a little bit is just like the glow of this foundation. So if you have dry skin, if you love that super duper glow, so far, given that I've been wearing this for like maybe an hour, I really think you're going to love this. But with my oily skin, I'm really not quite sure because like I said, like I did the regular one last week and that by the end of the day, my T-zone, my chin was very, very shiny. So it's definitely a foundation I already feel like I need to set in the regular version. So the eliminating version, I can't imagine how this is going to go, but I'm going to check back in with you guys at the end of the day just to let you know how it wore, if there was a difference between the brush side and the sponge side in the duration of how it wore and all of that and give you my final thoughts on it. See you then. Oh, P.S. <laughs> if you're interested in this lip, I just finished up my lip challenge video and this one is in the finale. So I'll link that down below in case you're interested. Okay, for real, see you later. Hi guys, so it is the end of the day and I'm sure you can tell I am looking quite 
illuminated. So it is definitely very illuminated on my skin. I think the chin, forehead since the beginning of the day, even the cheeks, my nose a bit, like I'm, I'm quite illuminated and it's hard to say if that's my oils coming through or the foundation. I really do think it is just a mix of both. And that being said, I don't know if I can really fault the foundation for this because they do claim that it is an illuminating foundation and it definitely does. I just really don't think it is meant for my skin type. Like I said, I didn't set it down. I do think that if I set it down in certain areas or blot it throughout the day, it could look really beautiful because I don't like it when my chin and my T-zone get oily, but I, I like having a little bit of glow on the cheeks. I think that's really nice. And when I think back to just the regular It CC foundation that I used last week, I did have the oils coming through my chin, my T-zone type area, but I didn't have it so much on the apples of my cheeks like I do today. And that being said, one thing I really do not like is that to the touch, like the foundation is wet. So I definitely feel like if someone with oily skin or myself, like I would want to probably be blotting throughout the day, definitely be setting down with a powder. That being said, I really didn't see much breakdown of the foundation, despite the fact that my oils were coming through, which is really exciting. So if you really like that glowy look and you don't mind having a bit of shine to your face, you don't have to worry about the foundation breaking down, which is what usually happens when oils start to come through. I did notice like a bit of foundation like gone from my chin, but that could be because I, I hold my chin in my hand a lot. I like, I was lying down like face first playing on my phone and like chin in the pillow. So I don't think that's really a fault of the foundation. I think that's more so like I rest my face on things. But I didn't see any breakdown like in in between here, like my eyebrows, which is where a lot of rain happens, or the forehead. I do think it did settle into the line which on my forehead, which is something I didn't see with the normal It CC cream. So I think if I had to pick between the two, I would choose the normal one just because for me, I thought my skin just looked more flawless with it. Even though my oils did still come through, I think both of them you do have to powder if you have oily skin. I just think my skin looked that little bit more flawless when it came to the normal one. And wear time, with it being the brush side versus the sponge, I really don't see a difference. You can still see like everything, like my blush is still there, bronzer is still there, like all the makeup is still on my face, which is amazing. So everything really does adhere to it, it stays throughout the day, that's without a setting spray or anything. So it's really great that you can get a full day's worth of wear out of this foundation. Everything is going to stay, so I really like that aspect of it. Overall, for me, I think this is definitely something I would need to powder. Probably I would go lean more towards this type of foundation in like January, February, when it is like super dry here, when it is really like, when I want that kind of glow to my skin that is not going to happen actually, I think that is my reach. If I can't imagine wearing this type of foundation in the summer, I think it would just look ridiculous on me. But I think if you have dry skin and you find that CC cream too mattifying for you, then definitely check out the Illumination one because like they said, it's no glitter or sparkle, it's just this beautiful sheen to your skin. If you guys have been enjoying these foundation videos, then can you please like this video and comment down below just so I know that if you're liking them or if you want to see a change in the format or something like that, I want to make sure that I am making content that you want to see. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are. Bye.